All right, hello, great days, and welcome to 9.8, Dividing Fractions, found on page 316 of the textbooks. And your goal is to divide fractions using related multiplication. Uh, there are other ways in which to divide fractions, but we're going to go through this example today, dividing fractions using related multiplication. So we'll go through other examples in class, but for now, this is what we're going to be using for the purposes of this video. All right, so from the textbook. The problem, Tamara has a large can of paint. Jordan has 7 eighths of a large can of paint. Each student is pouring paint into small cans that hold 2 thirds as much as a large can. All right, here's your diagram. Question is how many small cans of paint will each student fill? Before we continue on to the problem, however, I want to introduce you to a term that you may or may not have seen, reciprocal. All right, copy this down. And what is a reciprocal? The fraction that results from switching the numerator and denominator. For example, 4 fifths is a reciprocal of 5 fourths. Now, if you're dividing or multiplying fractions, you need to um, make a mixed number. Say so you encounter a mixed number, say 1 and 4 fifths. Well, you have to make that into an improper fraction. So first, 1 times 5 is 5, plus 4 is 9. Denominator stays the same. OK? So then, to work with it, you have to get the reciprocal. So 5 over 9. Just switch it up. Nice. Easy. Good. OK? Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, copy this down. Pause if you need to, and then we'll continue. Okay, the example that we're given in the book here, all right, 7 eighths divided by 2 thirds. All right, this is simple stuff, very, very easy. So you start with 7 eighths divided by 2 thirds, then it becomes 7 eighths, and you multiply by the reciprocal. So 7 eighths now is multiplied by 3 over 2. All right, then you multiply across. 7 times 3, 21. 8 times 2, 16. All right, and what do you have left? How many? Now you have to turn it back into a mixed number. So 16 into 21 is 1. And what's left over? 5 16 So here's your answer. How many? Small cans, can they fill up? 1 and 5 sixteenths small can. This lowest terms? Yeah, that works. So again, multiply the reciprocal. In other words, switch this over. Get an improper fraction, and then turn it into a mixed number to the lowest, uh, the lowest term. OK, good. Wonderful. All right, pause and take down this example if you need to. And I'm going to continue. One more example here. All right, 1 and 7 eighths divided by 3 fifths. So 1 and 7 eighths divided by 3 fifths. First of all, 1 and 7 eighths won't work. So you got to make this into a mixed, not, oh, sorry, improper fraction. So 1 times 8 is 8, plus 7 is 15 over 8. And now, divided by 3 fifths. All right, now this doesn't work for me. What has to happen now is 15 over 8 stays, and you multiply it by the reciprocal 5 over 3. What happens? 15 times 5 is 75. 8 times 3 is 24. How many times is 24 going to 75? Three times. All right. Three times with one, with three left over. And 24. All right. Is that done? No, it's not done. Three and three 24 fourths. Lowest terms is three and one. Okay, 
good. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I'm not gonna prepare any questions because I want to run through a few more examples with you once we get into class. So pause where you need to, take down this example, this example, make sure you have that term with that example and you're good to go. All right, sound good? Lovely, all right, thank you for coming. See you soon.